Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, it is your boy, Nick from Run the Foot Market. Guys, today I'm bringing you essentially one of the most helpful investment videos that I could show you guys in the next three or four weeks. I'm going to basically simply just say that that's how this video is going to be. Um, we're going to go look at some things. We started to look at it a little bit on stream today, but I'm telling you right now, like, this video is the video. Like, this video is so important, and you need to pay attention and, and really get yourself involved in some of these investments if you're not already. Uh, I think you're going to be able to get involved with a lot of these investments in the next few days still. I think there's still a window where next weekend I'll probably be investing this stuff. I'm not investing in it yet. But I'm telling you right now, there are some things that are way too cheap. We have something really big right now that no one is talking about, and that is Footmas. I know you guys are looking at me like I'm crazy because it's still the end of November, but... Flipmas actually started last year on December 16th, so that is literally in a little bit more than two weeks. It's pretty close, guys. So I thought I would make a video, start to help you guys prepping for it. Obviously, we're going to have a multiple videos in December talking about it, and we're really going to start analyzing it and figuring it out. I'll tell you right now, Flipmas is not only the best time on foot, in my opinion, it's the most entertaining time in terms of streams. Guys, there are daily player SPCs, at least there were last year. There was three a day, depending on these players' numbers of the day. You guys will see. We're going to totally get into it. You can make so much money during Footmas by following me and the streams. I'm telling you right now, get involved, guys. If you thought November and, and, and October, whatever was great in, in these streams, December is literally my favorite month of, of doing all this trading, market, investing. So we're going to get right into it, guys. I'm going to show you what Footmas is all about. All right, guys. So I'm going to bring you guys over to the preview screen where we're going to go look and, and really talk about what these Footmas SPCs are all about. So as you can see here uh, via this image, De Rossi is number 16, Rufier is number 16, Prolo is number 16, and the SPC comes out on December 16th. That's when the promotion starts. They do three player SPCs every day for the whole Footmas promotion. It's my favorite time of the year. And basically, guys, these SPCs are only available for 24 hours and are not available in packs. So they have massive demand. So basically, you invest for um, the requirements. The requirements were very high last year, like very high. If you got the requirements right, you were in the money banking out you were going to make so many coins and that's why it's my favorite time because it's an investors and a trader's heaven so we're going to look right into it right last year you had parolo uh de rossi and roof on the first day and look here i want to talk about the common trends and where the money is right we're going to start off this video looking at what these requirements were i have all of them up here for all the player spcs we're going to talk about those and then i'm going to show you right now what you should be investing and that's going to be later in this video but there are so many investments to be making right now you got to get involved you got to figure it out in the next week get your head straight i don't know what you need to do figure it out Footmas SPC uh, day one on a uh, Footmas on the 16th, right? So De Rossi, you needed an 84 team rating, and you needed four combined either team of the week or November players. We didn't have November promotion this year. We only uh, we only had Scream. So for me, I think Path to Glory could maybe replace November. I have no idea. Basically, I'm gonna get into more of these players, and you guys are gonna see the common trend. All right? So 84 rated, 80 chemistry team of the week players. Um, the chemistry is very high for all of these, which means they're hard to do. You can't just slap 84s in there. You need to find chemistry. Here for the Rufier, uh, you needed 90 team chemistry. You needed nine rare players. You needed two team of the week players. Again, team of the week players. And then for Marco Parolo, you did need 84 team rating, three minimum team of the week players with 80 chemistry. I mean, the requirements are crazy. As you can see, if you guess right, you're gonna, oh, you're gonna bank. You're gonna make so much money. You're gonna break the bank. All right. Here we go. This is the 17th. They did Obamiang. Boy, oh boy, was that expensive. You literally needed Obamiang. I'll show you this in a minute. You can see it's exactly one player from Gabon. Hamzik and Benteke as well. All good players for this day. You can see Obamiang, you needed one team of the week player, 11 Bundesliga, and you literally needed to submit Obamiang because he was the... I think he was the only player in the Bundesliga from Gabon, or I, I don't know. I don't know how that all worked out, but that was very expensive. As you can see, the common trend, they're all expensive. Benteke, you needed three team of the week players or Movembers combined, and then Hamzik, you needed three team of the week players. Guys, what's the common trend? Team of the week players. It's everywhere. You not only, not only need one or two, you need like three or four for these SBCs because they're so rare and they have so much like uh, oomph to them because they're just so rare. You don't get them any other time throughout the year. You need to, you get these 24 hours on the day to do them. It's my favorite time of foot. Uh, you guys should be really looking forward to this day coming up. Here we go for the uh, for the Footmas SBC here on the on the 18th. Fakir DeMarcos Defoe, right? 85 team rating. Uh, minimum team of the week players four for Fakir four team of the week players at 85 rated I mean you need at least 83 or 84 rated informs uh, for that It's gonna be mad how much these these are so expensive and that's why it's great for us guys because we don't do them 
we just buy the informs and we and we invest like that and we sell them and boom we're making money guys i'm telling you this week and a half is all about printing coins if you're not printing them you're in the wrong place you're not watching me correctly you guys will be getting involved don't worry i will be showing you a little bit later in this video more investments we're looking at last year to see kind of the actual potential of a lot of these the marcos two team of the week players 86 team rating and then Derfoe was uh another team of the week player moving up i want to speed this up a little bit modric was huge Rashford Dembele, look at Modric. Musa Dembele, you need an 87 team rating with a team of the week player 50 chem. Modric, you need an 88 team rating, one team of the week player 100 chemistry. You literally needed to submit, I, I believe, I, I don't even remember. I think it was the only way you could do that was La Liga or Calcio I, one of the one of the two. And then Marcus Rashford, 86 team rating, three team of the week players, minimum 60 chemistry. I mean, these are so crazy expensive, guys. And you guys, I'm telling you. Watch this whole video. I I'm not messing around. You guys are going to be prepared, and we're going to start to prep for it in December even more. So here we go. This is the 20th. Ali, Kurzawa, Juan Fran. Here we go. See this? Team of the Week, November. Team of the Week, November. One scream. Right? They did one SBC where you needed to scream. So just take all this into account. Most of them have been Team of the Weeks, a few Movembers, and one scream so far. A ton of Team of the Weeks, though. Next one, you had Dybala, Gam Gamero, and Toprak. Um, I think a lot of you are sitting here, if you haven't even seen this before, and been like, this is cool. FD Investments, like, this is what's up. Tell, I'm telling you, it's it's the best promotion of the year. I want to get you guys hyped up for it. I want to get you guys buzzing because I have so much fun with this every year. Dybala, two Team of the Week players, 100 chemistry, 88 team rating. Uh, I mean, you got to you gotta quick sell your house to do some of these. Toprak, 84 team rating. Team of the Week and a November player, 70 chemistry. I mean, it's mad. Kevin Gamero, 84 team rating. Minimum team of the week. Look at these. All these team of the week players. And then moving up, guys, you have Willian, Chadley, Isco. Willian required like 87 rating. One team of the week player. 85 rating. You didn't need any for Isco. Uh, and then team of the week player. Look at these. I just want to show you guys. Emre Chan didn't need a team of the week player. Danny Alves, I don't think you needed a team of the week player. Uh, for Vidal, you did need a team of the week player. Insignia, you needed a Movember or team of the week. Uh, Perrin, you didn't need any. But for Bellerin, you needed two team of the week players. That card was OP. Basically, guys... The summary of this is, is that most of the special cards that you need will require team of the week players. It's the common trend. There's not many curveballs. I keep telling people this. Everybody last year was always trying to figure out the curveballs, but I knew the team of the week was going to be almost every time required, and they literally were. And we're going to get into this, and I'm going to show you right now on Ultimate Team, guys. There are so many great investments I think you all can make, and we need to go look into it. We're going to continue to use Flipit.com, guys, so I can show you guys the easiest way of seeing the cheapest player prices. Uh, for some of these and we're going to continue to talk about the potentials for this year and the potentials investments that you want to start to be looking at in the next few weeks i'm telling you it's never too early to start investing and we're going to go hop over onto this year's foot and go do that right now okay boys so first of all the the common thing you definitely saw in, in there was that team of the week players were everywhere and high ratings were everywhere so what does that mean for me it means that all the people asking me if dante cruz and rafael all in this week's team of the week right all of them now, they were even lower before, but they're all still 20, 22, 22.75K. I mean, they're great investments. And last year, I actually did do some research, and I looked into it, and it looks like most of the 84-rated Team of the Week players, when they when these SPC came out, those guys went up to 30, 35, 40, 45K. I mean, and in the moment it comes out, you guys know, you sell, if you get the requirements right, and they go flying up the minute after the SPC, that's when you sell. Some of those guys were going up to 50, 60, 70K, because people just panic buy. It's panic buying is such a thing. So great investment right there the dante situation the crew situation the rafael situation make sure you guys are keeping tabs with those three in the next five to six days i'm saying this i think when we get you know i, I just feel like when we get into december it's when people are gonna be like foot misses december 16th like i gotta start investing i'm telling you right now guys those three right there are gonna be huge you saw that the chemistry is massive for these sbcs so maybe cruz is the best option i think cruz out of those three, and maybe Dante because League Un. No, no, you know what? Rafael's Bundesliga League as well. Those three are great in terms of uh, potentials because, guys, they did require Team of the Week players, but if you remember what we were just looking at, they required like 80, 90, 100 chemistry. You can't just stick an 84 rated inform in there. The ones who have good links, good leagues, good nations are going to go flying up. Cruz is actually my favorite. Bundesliga has a lot of high rateds in the Bundesliga, and he's German, so he can link with anybody. Cruz is one that I really like. If you're going to go buy some uh, in the next week, I will go do this. Guys, I'm telling you right now, Footbiz, it, it, it's happening this year. They do this because they're going to keep doing this, I think, the SBCs, because they were such a big hit last year in terms of customer satisfaction of this game everybody was like oh my god this is awesome i'm telling you right now footmas spcs are lit 
um, especially for investors and traders like when we're going crazy an hour before the release of uh, of the day say it's day you know say we're on the 19th of December and it's gonna be players who have 19 and we're going crazy in the stream an hour before guys it's it's honestly such a fun time to be on foot and I'm really looking forward to it so I'm gonna go show you a few more investments that I think you guys got to get on uh, in the next few days uh, before it gets a little bit too late not before it gets too late But before these guys start rising like crazy So this is the other thing that I'm looking at and it's not only the 84s, right? But for the guys like you know Vidal or Obamian like if they put out like similar tier players of that The 87 situation is insane like if they do an 88 team rating and they require one or two team of the week players Like Icardi is 130k cheaper than the third cheapest inform like, you literally have Icardi and Mustafi, and then it's over. It's literally game over. Like, if those two are, are if you need, like, a really high-rated inform, those two are going to go through the actual roof. Now, they're great investments because they're in Team of the Week, which means they're still supplied. They're still being put into packs. Um, you have about, I guess, by the time you see this video, probably 12 more hours to maybe hop on them. I do think Icardi and Mustafi will rise a lot. Um... As we as we kind of head in head into December and, and get closer to footmas because people will start doing their homework people will start really looking into investments and that's why I like that you guys you guys really seem to listen to my videos and that's why I do these videos two and a half weeks out if you guys watched my videos before FIFA came out you guys were making so many coins by investing in gold cards uh, who are gonna get the OTWs and stuff like that I mean you guys did crazy good so I'm telling you right now get involved with that we're gonna look really quick at 86s and 85s and we're gonna look at the cheapest so Acardi's 86 is, is very cheap right now as well because he has an 87 um, the 86 situation is very similar it's it's very like there's two or three and then the rest are over 60k and, and close to 80 so that's another look and then let's check out 85s i'm pretty sure pastori's in this current team of the week and he's very low he's like 26k 28k in the same situation boss boss is 37 i mean there's a lot less amount of informs this year that are 84 85 86 87 and are very accessible for good value so i would say guys that any of the players in this current team of the week which we will go on to right now on the fifa ultimate team on the console and we will go show you guys right now if there's any players that you haven't invested in from this team of the week i'm going to be doing this pretty soon get on the max crew situation get on the uh i would say get on the mustafi especially the icardi the dante's a great one um the Raphael is a great one, and the Pastoria are great ones. All being supply, team of the week, SBC out this team of the week, a lot of supply. And listen, um, the, the, the more we get closer to the event, the more they will go up. I will also say this to a lot of you. You know, a lot of people will, will only go that route. And I would say this. Go with the route of 84s, 85s in popular leagues that are the cheapest, like Bernardo Silva, Oda Mendy, who's an 83. Get involved. So not yet, but I'm thinking like maybe around team of the group stage time when that's going to be on December 9th. It's going to be about two weeks from now. That's probably going to be the time when people start to open more packs. You're going to get a lot more 83, 84s on the market. That could be a good time to go out and snipe some 84s and get ready for Footmas, which will be the week after. Now, if 83s, 84s, and 85 golds go really cheap in the next few days because we just had a Team of the Week SBC where they were needed, and now they might go down because no one's interested, maybe that's a good time to buy. You guys can gauge that yourselves. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I'm getting really hyped for Footmas. Um, I hope this guy helps you out in terms of investments. Guys, if you're watching my video right now, please pick up an informed Dante, an informed Neto, or an informed Cruz, or an informed Rafael. I'm telling you, those guys at some point will go up during the footmas promotion you will be making coins if you invest in some team of the week players for that promotion make sure if you guys you know are really scared to sell on the hype during that promotion obviously you guys will have more videos on this closer to the promotion but i hope this video really helps you guys um for footmas and start to understand what it is and what it's all about because guys it's one of my favorite times of the year i appreciate you guys watching this video drop a like if you guys enjoyed and uh i'm out boys peace